Hey, Tommy. Hey, Kevin, how are you? All right, so what are you thinking here? Bean bags? Plywood? Uh, well, yeah, a nice simple project. We're gonna build a couple of cornhole boards. Oh, cool, all right, yeah, I like yeah. that idea. So I picked up some KD 2x4s, and they're pretty straight. We don't want to have a dip or a curve in the board. Mm -hmm. And I wanted the smoother surface as you get, so I got some pre-cut panels out of birch. Yeah, interior plywood though, yeah. right? Yeah, well I think most people keep them inside when they're not playing, and we're going to put a finish on them to seal them, and I think that the little bit of time that they're outside and not in the weather, it's going to be fine. I like it. All right, let's get started. All right, let's cut these two eight-footers, put them on the saw. Make sure your end is even down there. These are flush, yep. Yeah. Okay, good. Let's put them against the saw. So what I want to do is I want to cut the eight-footers, two of them, in half, which would be four feet. That will give us four sides for the two boards. Mm -hmm. So to find the center, because I know that these are a hair over eight feet, I'm going to measure from one end and put a mark at four feet. I'll measure from the other end at four feet. So those aren't going to line up because uh, it's a little bit more than eight feet? Right. And if I cut right in the center of that, I'll have four equal pieces total that are four feet long. Clever, Tommy. Very clever. All right. So Even with cornhole, you're clever. <laughs> All right, there's our four sides, all cut, equal in length. Love it. So now we're gonna cut the pieces for the top and the bottom, and our cornhole board will be 24 inches on the outside, so the pieces that are gonna go on the top and the bottom will go in between the two by fours, so what we need to do is subtract the width of two of the two by fours, and each two by four is an inch and a half. Two of them will be three inches, 21 inches will be the length for our four pieces. So now we're ready for some assembly. We're gonna pre-drill some holes for our screws. So I'll mark them and then you can drill them. Three quarters in, put a line, come here, there. going to use three inch deck screws. So when you're driving a Phillips screw sometimes and you drive it really fast with these drivers, the tip can slide out of the screw head. So if, it's, if you take your drill and pump the trigger, that little hesitation allows it to slip back in and less chance of it sliding out. So you pump it every now and then when it's slipping out. All right, so now we're ready to put the top on. Inch and five eighths, inch exterior five eighths. screws. Yep, I kind of sink them down so we'll hit them flush with the top. And I'll put one in the center here. All right, so now we're ready to drill the hole for the bags to drop into. And uh, there's dimensions that we have to follow. And if I will come down nine inches from the top. Is that center of hole? That'll be the center of the hole. And center it this way, which is 24, so we want to divide that in half. So that's where we want to drill the hole right there. Okay. So when I can take a compass and I can put it on the center like this and I can draw a circle. So what do the regulations say the hole has to be? Six inches, nine inches down and then in the center. So I could take and draw a hole like that and cut it with a, a jigsaw or a yeah. saber saw or I just happen to have a six inch hole saw 
Surprise, surprise. That we can cut it all in one. Okay. All right, so we've got our hole cut, and we're ready to use the board except for one thing. They're usually at an angle, as you know. And so that requires that we put a set of legs off the back, and we need two of them. We could just attach them with screws, but we're going to attach them with a carriage bolt. Because? Well, because we need to swing these legs out of the way so they'll go up like that because it's easy to store. Gotcha. All right? Okay. We've got to make an adjustment to the square part of the leg at the top. We need to make a radius right here, all right? So now it becomes a circle, and the carriage bolt will become the pivot point or center of the circle so we can then turn it. The reason is, is I can't turn with the corners. They'll hit. The American Cornhole Association says that the box needs to be 12 inches high at the top. And we have to allow for the thickness of the top, which is a half inch, so I need to cut the legs 11 and a half inches. Both boards are built. Now we're just going to protect them and we're going to use some water-based urethane. We're going to roll it on. I actually ordered some decals. So now you're going to take and bring this down. Oh, I like this. This is satisfying. Yeah. I'm going to walk this paper up, and as we walk it up, you just go back, push the bubbles up and out. Ready? Put the top coat on. Ready. I think we'll do it the same way. Just dump it on the board and roll it around. Okay. All right. Let's set them up right oh, over there. Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> look at this, huh? What do you guys you think? Too. Oh, nice, nice. Did you guys, so, uh, did you like you guys buy that? Oh, hey, come nice. on. <laughs> You like that logo? You when you I love build. that. <laughs> this is true. You guys all approve? Yes. Uh, I love it. Perfect. I want to play. I want to play. We will. We will play. Right, calm down but first, now. that is a wrap for this episode. We got another one coming next week, so make sure you join us. On behalf of all of us, I'm Kevin O'Connor for Ask This Old House. Who's with me? I want to let's 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 you gotta get the double swing. Woo! Morrow's been talking smack all. Oh! <laughs> wow! I told you. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.